so this is my energy flow diagram and then um, our system is the car just the car without the spring so at point A we have our velocity zero and then our car is at position zero so it's at the starting line pretty much and then uh, we have no kinetic we have no elasticity we have no gravitational potential energy so that's all equal to zero and then in point B our velocity is zero um, we have we have moved from position zero um, we have no we have no energy of kinetic we have no energy of elasticity and we have no energy of gravitational potential so that's equal to zero so energy of work is equal to 4.3 joules and these 4.3 joules is the energy stored in our spring so that's going into our system and then we are also having energy being dissipated so that's going out of our system so the only thing that we really have is energy of work minus e dis is equal to zero and then from that we get ew is equal to e dis and ew is 4.3 joules so e dis is also equal to 4.3 joules because ek is equal to e dis so this is my energy flow diagram